All right, I'm Nick. Now, I told you guys we would go over some rigging and how I plan to rig the Hobie Mirage Lynx. Even prior to picking it up, I had already ordered this fish finder because I had a plan. I told you guys I wanted to keep this lightweight. I have a very nice fish finder, side scan, and all kinds of features. I don't need it for this. I didn't want it for this. So I went with the Garmin Striker 4CV. This thing comes with the GT20 transducer. Now I have a lot of experience in the past of rigging various Hobies with this transducer, other transducers, and putting it in here. I've always done a kind of a DIY approach to it, but I wanted a simple solution and I knew it would make your guys' life easy as well. Obviously we manufacture a bunch of parts for various old towns, so making this made my life a lot easier. Uh, with your transducer, it's gonna come with this little bag of hardware, okay? You're gonna use three of those to secure this piece to the top of here, like this. So we'll fast forward through that real quick. I already have the screws and the star washers on here. You guys will see me tighten them down and then I'll show you the next step. All right, once that's done, it's secure, it's good to go. We'll set it to the side for now. Now, you can save this hardware, do what you want with it. You only need to use three. It's plenty strong, okay? Next step is loosening and removing these two screws. I used a drill. You can use a screwdriver. As long as you understand how to use a drill, you won't have any issues. Take these. Don't lose them. This comes up off make sure this is front right this is orientated to the front once that is done you go back to this piece what you'll realize is it comes with a bolt now this is a two and a half inch bolt it's going to ship out with a two and a quarter inch bolt this doesn't hurt anything but this doesn't need to be that long this piece will come like that this is going to sit here just like this that way when you flip it over it'll be orientated properly this bolt will slide through here. Actually, you probably don't even need to take that off. Once you get it, it'll come to you like this. Then you can just slide that down in place. It's already a snug fit. Don't push too much down here. It'll pick the back up. Just set this nice and level. No big deal. And then you will take your screwdriver, a 3 8 inch wrench, or a pair of pliers. We'll fast forward through this part. Now, once you get it snug, see how it's not level, just push this up, get it set up exactly where you want it, and then you'll be able to torque this down. Once you torque this down, like so, these pieces will actually compress. That's the way it's designed. It'll hold it in place nice and firm. You can go back and you can verify your how level you want it. I probably pushed down a little too much on the front. So you can just adjust it as needed to make it level. Very simple. Once you tighten it down, it does not move, okay? Once that's done, you're good to go. We're a level everywhere. Remember, this piece goes to the front. We're gonna drop this through here. We're gonna push that through. Now, I've actually already rigged this. I took it apart so you guys could see it. Everything fits in there without any issues. You're gonna torque this down. Remember, you don't need to go too tight, okay? Uh, this stuff is all very, very simple. It's designed well, it fits well, and you'll have no problems with that transducer working. It's just down scan, so it'll work perfectly. Once that's done, the transducer is properly installed, it's good to go, and we'll make another video showing you how we plan to install this piece here on the seat so that we can just have the fish finder right by our hand and we can just swivel it out of the way when it's not needed. We can also quickly and easily remove it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below or shoot me an email at nick at Thanks for watching.